Hi, it's Michelle from 12 by 12 cardstock shop. And today I'm here to share with you Basil card shop. This is a special line of Basil cardstock that is targeted towards card makers, but it's actually really great for lots of different purposes. So what makes this unique, it's a smooth weight cardstock and it's a hundred pound weight. So it's nice and sturdy and thick. Normal basil is 80 pounds, so this is giving you extra stability for bases of projects and for layers, and as you can see, it comes in lots of beautiful colors. There's actually 43 different colors in this line. Um, you've got all of your pretty basics um, in all kinds of shades, and then you've got gray, and you've got some brown, so you've got pretty much everything you could need for card making and for other projects. So let me tell you why I love this so much. Okay, so what's so great about this is that it actually cuts beautifully. You can see this is a really detailed cut, and it just it cut it out wonderfully, and I love that it because it's extra stable, it will hold its own. So you can see these pieces aren't sagging at all. It's just one solid piece and it holds itself up. So if you're making cake toppers or party decor that you need to kind of have that stability to stand on its own, this is actually a great option. Um, so for cutting, I tested it on my Cricut Maker and on a Silhouette Cameo. For the Cricut Maker, I used the heavyweight cardstock setting with the pressure bumped up to more. And there were some colors that I had to double cut. I don't know why that is. I think it has something to do with the dye. Some of them just didn't cut on the first pass. So you'll want to check it before you eject your mat. And then on the Silhouette Cameo, I did the heavy weight cardstock setting. And on that one, um, I had to do two passes. So it cuts beautifully. It just takes a little bit, um, usually just another pass and making sure you're getting the right settings. But I love this cardstock. Okay, so a couple more things that are important to know about this. First of all, because it's heavier weight, it embosses beautifully. If you emboss it and then cut it out, you won't get any warping with your embossing because it's it's so thick and nice. Um, it also holds ink like Copics or regular ink because it's got that thicker weight. It doesn't bow or warp when you're coloring on it. So you can see I just cut out uh, some, all of this is cut from Basil Card Shop. And as you, again, you can see, like even these tiny pieces are holding themselves up. There's no sagging or anything. So one of the things that's important with this is that you do need to score before you fold. So for instance, let me show you what happens if I try, can you see how that's starting to happen? I'm just folding it without a score line. You get this creasing because it's so heavyweight and then it's just kind of like looks messy, I guess, when you try to fold it that way. So if you can see that. Um, it looks fine on the front actually, but I'm getting that kind of messy. So, but once you've got that crisp, that fold, you can, you know, crease it down and you get a crisp fold. So it's just important that you actually score before folding. So here I have a score line and see how much smoother that went. It gets nice crisp folds, but you do have to score it or you'll get that kind of creasing as it folds. So just a tip on that. Um, again, 43 different colors. You can purchase this by the sheet in individual colors. It is just a few cents more than regular basil because of the heavier weight. And then um, you can buy it also in a complete pack where you can get one of each color. That's what I've got displayed here. Uh, one of each color, and so you can test them all out. So that is one of our new favorites, Basil Card Shop. We hope you check it out and love it in the shop.